Hey, don't forget to leave any questions in the comments. And don't forget to smash the like. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's get to it. Elementor section tutorial for beginners. Go to your dashboard. We're going to make a new page. Sections. And I'm going to just set up no sidebar, full width, stretched, no title. And now I'm going to open the page with Elementor. Here we have a blank page. To get us going, I'm going to open up a template. Say this one. Insert. That will insert an entire page template into this page. So you see right away that this page is made up of sections. The sections are the large blue boxes with the tabs at the top and the middle of the screen. Here's a section here with a tab. It ends right here at the blue line. Here's a section here with a tab. It goes all the way down to here. You can see that this is a three column section. Ah, no, this is a section and this is a section within that section. It, it contains one header here. Here's the three column section inside of it and then this is the rest of that main section. So you can have sections in sections but basically sections are the large boxes that contain your columns. Here you have a two column section. Here you have another two column section. So the sections are the large blue boxes. To obtain their settings, right click the tab, edit section, and here you have the layout, and here you have the styles. To move a section, just click normal click the tab and start dragging. You see it's telling you you're moving a section. I'm going to put it right in between these two. See if it catches on. Here we go. Let me try that again. Sometimes it takes a little bit to decide to let go and let you move the section. That's true. Oh, there it goes. All right, so now we have a section here that's been moved. To duplicate a section, because you want the layout on the same page, the best way to do that would be to duplicate it. Because if you like this little text box with the icon, you just right click and duplicate. Now a little further below, now you have the same section and you can just use this text as a space filler and fill it in with your own text. All right, what's next? If you want to save this section for the rest of your site that's not on this page, so you can't just duplicate it, you would have to save it as a template. So to save a section, sections can be saved. They're the largest block that you can save. So let's right click, save as template. And then this is my two column template. And then you save that. Now it's in my templates. So when you get to your other pages and you want that same template in there, you just click the plus here. This means new section. And now instead of doing one from scratch, we're going to do one from the folder. Go to my templates and find the one you just saved. Okay, to create a new section, I just hinted at it. A new section would be clicking the plus for a section in between these two and just the plus here. You could do a one column section or several columns. If you choose three but you want like four, you can always change that by duplicating a column. See here are the columns that we just put in there. We, we did a three column section. You can't see it because there's nothing in there right now. So sometimes I just go ahead, I click the widgets up here, and I click a spacer, and I drop one in there. And you'll see, click the spacer itself, and now we're going to make that larger. So now we have 
we're able to see the three column section. You can drag other widgets into the section, but you're really dragging them into the columns. So let's do another section and a one, a one column section. The column spans the entire width of the, um, of the page. So if you drop a widget in there, say a header and a spacer, and I'm going to duplicate that spacer and drag that to make it a little larger. So you'll see you now have a section where you've dropped widgets into this single column. Let's explore some of the settings within this section. So when you right click the tab, there's this option to edit section. And then you go to style. First thing you'll see is background. This background type will let you edit the background color of the section. If I click the classic, there's no color right now, so it's just going with the body, uh, the body theme. So since um, it's reverting to whatever the body is set to within the theme. If I want to change the color of the section, I just click it and then click the color picker to get it to go back up. Now I'm going to change the color of the text. Go back to edit section. So that's how you do a background color. You can do a background gradient with two colors. Select your two colors. Click the color picker to get it go back up. So that's classic gradient and you can also put in a background video. Put a YouTube video in there. Put the link of the YouTube video and your background of your section will be a video. Just like a video, instead of a color, I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to put an image in the background. Okay, now we have a section with a background photo. The photo will be behind the entire column and behind all of your widgets. Similarly, if you put a background photo behind these three columns, you will see that the photo spans behind all three of these columns. And so on mobile, it might not look the same as if you did um, a single column. This has a chance of looking much uh, similar to mobile than if I click Edit Section and I put in a photo. Let's go with this one. And then I change it to mobile. You'll see, well, since it's a very large photo, it worked out. So that's good. Because if I duplicate this and I put it in the other column, you kind of get the idea of how the background photos for sections can affect based on how many columns you have. Let's go back to the desktop. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of sections. Uh, there are a few other things you can do with the edit section. Once you collapse this background, you can do a background overlay. So you can actually add a color to the overlay. So You know, if your text isn't showing well enough in your photo, just add a background overlay, make it darker, and then change the opacity here. You can even add a second image to the background instead of color. And then you can use some Photoshop magic where it sort of blends these photos together. There are a lot of neat effects that you can do. The blend modes are right here. So um, you can play around with those. 
So that's background overlay. And then there are some other s options for your section here. You'll see that some of the best ways to give your section space, you can go to the section and add margins padding and all of that. But as beginners, I found that one of the easiest ways to give yourself space in a section is to just drag a spacer on there. And you know, you can click the spacers and make them larger. But if you leave your section some space and some real estate, it really lays out your website nicely. So don't be afraid to increase the space of your sections. And um, yeah, so that's the basics of sections. We have these templates where we can save these sections and we can get more sections from those other templates. So if you have your page laid out and you need a way to get an, some more ideas to get more sections, you can click the plus, click the templates, and now we can get some ideas from these free templates. You just insert the whole page. You can browse the page before you insert it as well. But anyway, here is the new uh, page that I just inserted. So you can include any of these sections into your page as well. If you don't want to include the section, just delete the section by clicking the X. If you're going to delete the X, uh, delete a section and you made a mistake, go to the history icon at the bottom here and then go to where before you didn't uh, before you removed sections and that'll bring those sections back alright so thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful and stay tuned for more on the uh, Elementor beginner series